Nigerian army said that they rescued Oba of Lagos and one Lagos unknown prince makes revelation saying that Oba Riwan Akiolu will be dethroned. Hi guys, you're watching MTK series. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for your support. I quite appreciate that. And if you're new to this channel, thank you for clicking on this video. Make yourself comfortable as we get right into the gist. And also remember to click on that red subscribe button. Also hit the bell icon. That way you get notification whenever I upload a new video. So recently, Ami has come up to say that they were the ones who rescued Oba of Lagos, Oba Rio Wan Akiolu. During the NSAS protest, situation actually got out of hand. Some hoodlums and thugs hijacked the protest and they started destroying things, they started vandalizing properties and Oba's palace is one of those places where they vandalized. They made away with lots of things, including the staff of office. So Nigerian military said that they intervened based on the directions from the governor, Lagos State Governor, Mr. Baba Jide Samulu, and based on that, they moved Oba and his family to a safer place. And Ami went further to say that it is very good that Governor of Lagos State asked them to intervene in the situation. This thing is just uh, funny and very annoying at the same time. I was still in the military era that any slightest thing, they mobilize military, they send them to the street. I don't get it. It's feel very strange to me. And these people don't get it. The way they talk with impunity makes me understand that they feel that they are supposed to do the job. Why not police? Where are the policemen? What is happening in Nigeria? Why must army be released? We are not a military regime. This is not war situation. Obara of Lagos is simply the traditional ruler of Lagos and since after the incident that occurred during the NSAS protest, there have been lots of opinions about Obara of Lagos, why some people believe that Obara of Lagos is supporting politicians, other ones believe that Obara of Lagos is for the masses. However, Obara of Lagos is always selected by kingmakers of Lagos traditional kingdom and confirmed by Lagos state government. This particular Obara of Lagos is the 21st Oba and he was crowned on 9th August 2003. For those of you who don't know, Oba of Lagos studied law at University of Lagos and after that he served Nigerian police force for 32 years. He entered Nigerian police force in 1970 and he served in various capacity. He was promoted to assistant inspector general of police in 1999. He was very active until his retirement in 2002. Then in 2003 he became the Oba of Lagos and some people believe that he is not representing the masses very well. And some of these opinions we have formed from the videos that made rounds all over social media during the NSAS protests. Some of the talks and hoodlums who broke into the palace discovered large warehouse in which government distributed COVID-19 palliatives meant for the people of the community were hidden and among the items recovered included thousands of bags of rice, cartons of noodles, food condiments and essential household items. And some people were asking why did they not distribute these COVID-19 palliatives to people, why people were suffering, some people were complaining a lot about hunger, Individuals were doing all they could to help their community by donating and feeding the community. People were wondering what this quantity of food was doing in his palace when people were hungry. But anyway, he didn't stop there. If you can remember in April 2015, he had a meeting with Igbo leaders in Lagos and he publicly swore that any Igbo representative that went against his will that Ambode would be the next governor of Lagos because then it was Ambode that was running to be the next governor of Lagos that the person would be thrown into the Lagos Lagoon. I don't know if you can remember that. It's this same album. So people have been hitting hard on him and recently one unknown prince came out to bring his own doors and he vowed that Oba Akiolu will be dethroned in a trending video recorded in Yoruba. I'm not going to attach it. You can look for it. It went viral like two days ago. He accused the monarch of corruption, neglect of the state and the people. He regretted that Akiolu collect money from government instead of demanding that authority take care of all residents. He also complained that after the violence, the aftermath of NSAS violence, many expected that he would call everyone to discuss the way forward, but he never did. So he went further to say that they will remove him, they will dethrone him, and uh, if it's not going to be possible legally, they will do it in a traditional way. That he's not a good father, he's not a good monarch, he doesn't love people, he doesn't love Lagos, that he still have the police character in him, and that... He allegedly takes bribes from all corners and owns expensive houses across the metropolis. Don't come for me, please. It was the guy who said it. 
So you see the picture on the screen, you might as well go and look for him. So that's it. I'm not in support of violence. I'm not in any way telling people to go after him. But the thing is this, if you're a traditional ruler, please try to take care of your people. Leave politics alone. Let government take care of the politics. Just defend your people. Find a way to make sure that your people are okay. In as much as most of us are Christians, we still respect the traditional rulers because they are the custodian of the culture. People still respect them. This is the first time I'm seeing a palace being vandalized and people make derogatory statements about their leader. This is actually the first time I'm seeing that. But the thing is this, when you decide to dine with politicians, Please try to tell them the truth. Don't dine with them without telling them the truth. Try to also hear from your people and take whatever the people are saying to them so that they will know how to run the country better so that they will be able to know that these people are aware that something like this is going on and they will find a way to rectify it. Actually, being a traditional ruler comes with lots of responsibilities because the masses look up to you, your people, your community, they look up to you. Whatever happens in the community, you are the first port of call before they even go to their governor. So most often, when traditional rulers, they tend not to represent their community very well. I wonder why they do that, because politicians, they come and go. But traditional leaders, they are there till death, and people tend to respect them a lot. Because it's like they are the ones that you see first before you have anything to do with your governor. He's the one living with you in your community. He's the one that understands the terrain of the community very well. Even the politics of the community, they are the ones that understand it. So I don't tend to understand that when traditional leaders tend to work with politicians. It makes me cringe, honestly, just like some of these religious leaders that work hand in hand with politicians. To me, it doesn't make sense. You are there to represent people. You are there to say the truth. You are not there to start cutting corners. You say things like it is. You tell your people the truth. So why connive with politicians that everybody knows that they're liars? Once you start dining and whining with politicians, of course, people will class you to be a politician. And people will class you not to be straightforward. So this uh, unknown prince continued to say a lot of things. He also said that he refused to talk about the money found inside a coffin, that the money he has been collecting since the time he was in Kogi, that he was already planning for 2023 general election. Even if he lives long, then it will not work. That he acknowledged collecting money from Governor Shonwolu three times in a year that will amount to 12 times in four years. And that is not small money. So if he is a good father, he should have said, Gide, don't worry, people are rioting, suffering, give them the money. There are several dilapidated buildings around him, no drainage, no proper planning. Developers rush to build houses because of fear that if they delay, that he will revoke the land, that he must go. So the guy is saying that the Oba of Lagos has to be dethroned. So it didn't stop there. There have been lots of reactions concerning this Oba incident. On social media, even Mr. Macaron, a comedian, also dressed himself like an Oba and made this post on his Instagram page. You can see it's his official Instagram handle and he wrote, I wish I could command 600 years of suffering for the evil men and women that do not want us to have a better Nigeria. So guys, let me know what you think about this. Do you think traditional rulers should face their lane or do you think that they should be working together with the politicians or be in the government. What do you guys think about this? I'm going to sign off here. Stay healthy and safe. Remember to share this video with family and friends if you like it and subscribe to this channel if you've not done already. Also give this video a thumbs up because it helps with the algorithm and I'm going to catch you guys in my next video. Bye and remain blessed.